Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how do we connect to items inside of Microsoft Fabric from Power BI Desktop, because you have a lot of different options available to you. We're gonna cover lake houses, warehouses, KQL databases, enough of all this talking, you know we like to do it here on Guy in a Cube, let's do what? Let's head over to my machine. Inside of Power BI Desktop, your natural instinct is going to be go to get data and then go get the item that you need. And that's a fair point. However, I wanna point your eyes to this One Lake Data Hub. Inside of One Lake Data Hub, these are the main fabric items that we can connect to. So we've got Power BI semantic models, data marts, lake houses, warehouses, KQL databases, all the things. And so if I wanna to connect to a lake house, let's just go to lake houses, then we'll go grab the lake house that we need, right? So in this case, if I wanna grab this tag lake house I can connect and I can actually choose do I want to connect to the SQL endpoint or do I want to connect to the lake house itself so you have different options that are available to you choosing that straight connect item connects me to the default semantic model for that lake house and this would also be true for the warehouse as well right so they both have a default semantic model and if you do the straight connect then that's what you're going to connect to now if you want to connect to the SQL analytics endpoint then you need to choose that drop down. Let me show you again. I know I went pretty quickly. All right, so if we go up to one like data hub and we come down to warehouses, we'll choose the warehouse two. And then this drop down selection here. So if you didn't want to connect to the default semantic model or data set, then you want to choose this drop down and choose connect to SQL endpoint. Easy peasy, right? This means you have to have access to those items within inside of Microsoft Fabric. So either they were shared with you or you have access to the workspace itself. So. Let's assume from a lake house or a warehouse perspective, you don't have access to the workspace. All you've got access to is that SQL analytics endpoint. So it's basically a connection string. Think of this as you were connecting to like Azure Synapse Analytics, or you're connecting to a SQL database, right? That's really what it is. You're gonna have a server name and you're gonna have a database name. So how do we do that? Let's go back. And for this case, you'll see down here that we've got the, the lake house, we've got the semantic model, and then we've got the SQL analytics endpoint. So if I click on the ellipsis here for the SQL analytic endpoint, you'll see copy SQL connection string. And this is true for lake house and warehouse. So let me copy that. And if I come back into Power BI Desktop, I go to get data, I just choose SQL server. So I'll give it the server and then we'll give it the lake house. So the database is gonna be the name of the warehouse or the lake house itself. And then I can choose import or direct query. I'm not gonna actually pull anything here, so it doesn't matter, but you choose what you wanna do. And then here we'll see the tables. And then I can choose what I want and then I can transform data. You are enticed to hit that load button. Don't ever hit the load, hit the transform data. And then in here, if we go to advanced editor, you'll see that it's just a SQL database, right? That's just using the SQL database connector because it's a SQL analytics endpoint. It's just a SQL endpoint. So we can go from there and obviously you have to authenticate with your credential. What about a KQL database? Hmm. I had to look on this one. Here's my workspace where I've got my KQL database. It's called New York City Taxi DB. And if we go to the ellipsis here, you'll see, wait, there's no, there's no connection string that I can copy. Okay, not a problem. Let's go to settings and there's no connection string there either. So what do you do? And if I come into NYC Taxi DB, we look and we've got different items that are available here. Let's see what this query URI is. We'll copy that. We'll bring over a trusty notepad. Okay, well, that's a URL I can use. So that's good. We can think of this as the server name. Also, did you know that notepad had dark mode? <gasps> So we've got our server name here, and then our database is gonna be this MYC Taxi DB, right? So let's maybe just write that down, move this out of the way. Let's go to Power BI Desktop again. Let's go to Get Data. We'll go to More. And one thing you'll see here is Microsoft Fabric, which has all the items that were in that One Lake Data Hub, but that's not what I want. So I'm choosing Data Explorer because Azure Data Explorer is the Azure version of a KQL database. So let's choose that, we'll connect. So we'll put that URL in for the cluster name and for the database. We'll do New York City Taxi DB, and then everything else we'll just leave default. Let's see what happens. <gasps> that worked. But let's verify this because we saw with the lake house and the warehouse, it's just using the SQL database connector. So what is the KQL database using on the fabric side? I'm just gonna hit transform data here. And then if I go to advanced editor, this is the one that I used where I picked Azure Data Explorer. So this is using what I would expect it to use. So that's good. So now let's delete this. We'll go back to our One Lake Data Hub and let's choose KQL database and see what we get. All right, so we've got NYC Taxi DB. That's fine. Let's connect. And I'm seeing the same thing here. So we did RTA ice cream. So we'll do that. Hit transform data. Ask you if you want import or direct query. Let's do direct query. And now we're back where we are. We'll hit advanced editor and ooh basically using the same thing. So for a KQL database, it's just the Azure Data Explorer connector. Either way you do it, you're going to end up 
pretty much in the same spot. So with the Azure Data Explorer connector, you can actually adjust some of the settings like timeouts and things of that nature. They're still there if you choose the KQL database from One Lake Data Explorer, but you've got to know how to write the, the M syntax to get it. So lots of different options to connect to items inside of Microsoft Fabric. Let me know in the comments, how are you connecting to these items if you're using them? Is there something I missed? Let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.